The Mouth of the River by Anthony Austin, veteran infantry sniper of six years, British Army sharpshooting record holder, three operational tours, recipient of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's Medal of Bravery in the Field. Written December 2022. Operation Telic 6 and 9, our intentions are misunderstood. We're trying to help the towel heads but wondering if we should. Most just stared in hatred, the others turn in pain. Wishing that our Staffords would fuck off home again. Come join the British Army Scream recruiters up in town. See the world, have some fun and serve before the crown. Jobs were hard to come by, fuck being on the dole. So we signed up for a uniform and enlisted on the roll. Our first tour was in Basra, God bless the lads we lost. Blair's gaining oil and bullion whilst it's us that pay the cost. Politicians back home get richer, whilst my brother's names just fade. Once we landed back in Britain, Blair's no more war promise was made. Then came the call back to Iraq, but not where we were before. The brutal Ulamara, to fight that lying bastard's war. We're mortared ambushed and bombed every hour, whilst the Yanks they cower behind. Round two of our war in religion's name, the blind against the blind. Our Staffords trapped between them, whilst attacked by kids with stones. And then come broken bottles which led to broken bones. The petrol bombs that burn our hands, the nails that pierce our skin. I wish I fucking stayed in Brun, surrounded by my kin. We made it back to base camp, three kills on my record. But now I've gained a taste for blood, base camp safety has me bored. Next day I witnessed Taliban burn, wives, daughters and even sons. The bastards smile and laugh at us, our fingers itching on our guns. Yells of Allahu Akbar fill the air from the surrounding crowds in mass. Suddenly the crowds disperse to let an unknown vehicle pass. The villagers stampede in panic to escape the explosion that's in store. There's babies still on fire, being trampled into the floor. Just feet away, Rives is stood, his gun he cannot use. He knew the bomb had seconds and not minutes on the fuse. We couldn't run to pick it up and throw it down the street. There's way too many villagers and children's running feet. Take cover Rivers shouted, take cover for your lives. The Taliban smile once again as they hide behind their wives. The women gaze at rivers as their eyes are full of fear. Please mister, save our children or they'll end their short lives here. As river steps towards the bomb, he glanced at me alone. My heart sank deep, he gave the nod, my stomach now turns to stone. He lay down on the homemade bomb and murmured one farewell. To us and those back home in England, to those he loved so well. Myself and Corporal Stokes jump up, this death we can't allow. We run towards him screaming rivers, please your time's not now. Before we made it just halfway, we're beaten by the bomb. Another sacrifice is made, a friend, a brother, gone. The muffled soft explosion, the village made to quake. A hero blown into the air, his blood a crimson lake. We never heard him cry or shout. We never heard him moan. Moms turn their children's faces from the scattered blood and bones. The crowd again soon gathered and then the medics came. To carry off the pieces of a pawn lost in the game. The crowd they clapped and cheered and sang their Muslim songs. One soldier less to interfere, where he did not belong. But will the children growing up, learn at their mother's knees? The story of private rivers who bought their liberties. Who used his youthful body as a means towards the end. He gave his life to save all those who call him murderer not friend.